Sweet Sylvanians, and I make videos about Sylvanian families, also known as Calico Critters. And today, I'm opening Series 12 of the Blind Bags, which is a Sylvanian family's baby forest costume series. So these came out in Japan in autumn last year, 2023. I did a video all about them when they were announced, but they were released at the start of 2024 here in the UK. I was really excited to see this unopened box in the Toy Shop Smiths, because there are two full sets in each box, which meant I could get all eight babies. Here is a bit of footage from Inside Smiths. And here it is. The shop assistant was happy for me to take this box, as they would otherwise just throw it away. And I thought I could perhaps use it for the background in photos. This is what the box looks like. It has all the figures round the side, with a waterfall, foresty scene in the background. And these are the instructions for a shop to set up the display. And here's the bag lined up. Okay, so this is the bag. There's pictures of all the figures in this series on the front. And it's made of a shiny, thick plastic, which means you can't feel for the babies inside. On the back is safety information and recycling instructions. The number 5751 above the barcode is just a series reference and not a way to tell which baby is inside. Right, let's get to the baby. I can't hit anything when shaking it, so I don't know which baby this could be. Often this means that it's one of the newborn babies. And it is. I'll take a look at the booklet first, which has all the figures on the front. There's instructions for some of the accessories and how to dress the figures. And inside is each baby with a checkbox to tick off as you get them. Obviously today I'm hoping to get all eight. On the back is the treehouse. I'd have liked if this shown the new waterfall playset, but that's out later this summer in the UK. Okay, so yes, this baby doesn't make any noise in the packaging. I'll get it open. And all the parts out. So the leaf is in two separate pieces and just click together like this. And then this is a place for the baby to stand under the leaf. So here's the husky baby under there. Let's take a look at him more closely. This is newborn triplet baby Drake Husky. He is wearing a pale pink wrap but it has a scalloped edge and a turned over collar which makes it slightly different than the usual ones. So he can go back under the leaf. He's perfectly balanced there. I will just put him on my desk like this. Okay, bag number two. There is a noise to this when I shake it. I'm not sure which it could be. So let's cut it open. Ooh, another newborn baby. The leaflet will be the same. That one was tricky to open. So we have two little packets again. Snip the zilla tape on both. This is one of the mouse triplet babies. It's in a blue wrap, so this is Mary Marshmallow. Nothing really special about this figure or their outfit. I would have liked to see the wrap style Drake has on this baby too, but very cute nonetheless. I love the hearts and the ears of the marshmallow mice. Mary comes with a raft which has this base made to look like logs tied together. Some of them even have raised knots like real branches would have. Some really nice details on this. And the sail for this raft is a leaf with jaggedy edges 
and bent around another stick, I think. If this was brown rather than green, I think that would look better. It is a really nice shape though. So that can just fit into this hole. And Mary can hop on to go for a sail. She can balance on there, which is good. I'll pop these down next to Drake. Right, peg number three. Now that's a real kind of thudding noise. So I think this will be a regular sized baby. Maybe one of these three. Let's go to open and find out. Oh yes, it was when I guessed. Put this leaflet to the side too. And yeah, that, that thudding was the baby in the packaging. Okay, it feels mean to keep shaking her like that. I'll just get out her hat. It's a big bag for such a tiny piece. But here is Squirrel Baby Ambrose Walnut wearing a really interesting brown romper which is an outfit colour we don't see too often especially on the Sylvanian babies. It doesn't have leg holes and there's an orange trim around her neck. I actually quite like this, it's different to usual. Her hat is a tiny acorn cap in beige plastic. It has the realistic ridged pattern and a hole for her ear. It fits on easily like this to make a really cute outfit. I love the muted colours of this and using a squirrel figure is perfect. I think they actually eat acorns in real life. But we have to move on to bag number four. Another noisy one. One of these two possibly? Oh, or not. We've got the final newborn figure. Is that the flower making the noise? Don't know. We're cutting a lot of tape today. Come on baby, time to come out. Oh, in your accessory too. Here is the final newborn figure of this series, which is Chocolate Rabbit baby sister Flora. She is in a lilac wrap in the same style as what Drake was wearing, with a collar and scalloped hem. I do love these tiny newborn babies. The wraps are the same. And the base of Flora's accessory is the same as Drake's too. All green with a flat part for the baby. But the top is this gorgeous flower piece. It's a stem with three silvery bell-shaped flowers. They're meant to be Lily of the Valley, which is a small plant found in woodlands. And I love how they've made this so detailed with a bit of stem on top too. Green is maybe a little brighter than the actual plant, but overall it's really pretty and one I wouldn't mind having a few more of. So let's put that in the base. It just clicks in. And I can turn it to go a different direction. This gives space for Flora to come back. Ta-da! She looks adorable next to the flower. I think this is possibly my favourite so far. The flower would be a nice addition anywhere in my collection, really. But no time to waste. On to bag number five. More rattling, definitely. Which could it be? Oh yay, the dear baby! I don't need to show you the leaflet. 
So this is one that does make noise if you're looking for it. Snip this. And here's the accessory. This baby is listed as Oscar Buckley, but the males in the Buckley family don't have the hearts in their ears, so I think this should actually be Perry Buckley. Anyway, they are wearing a very sweet little apple costume, with a big red romper which is elasticated at the bottom, and a tiny piece of green fabric to look like a leaf at their neck. I actually think this style of romper works really well, it gives the rounded shape of an apple. And the baby has a hat or ear accessory in the shape of an apple. Nice and red too, with a little green leaf and stem. And a hole at the bottom for it to fit onto a baby. Now here is a different Sylvanian apple, I'd guess from the farm shop. It's smaller than this new one, which has to be larger to accommodate an ear. The older one is also a darker shade of red and doesn't have the green details, though there is a small stem. Anyway, let's put that on the baby. Oh, how cute! The accessory feels secure too, which is great. Yeah, I think this is really sweet actually. What are we on now? Number six? Yeah. More of a thudding sound. Who could it be? Oh, this is the mystery baby. We can see her shape on the back. So it looks like this. Okay, so this is the accessory, which is a mask in the shape of a leaf. It's all solid green, and I like that the eye holes aren't perfectly round. This is how it looks from the back. And there's parts on the side to hold it onto the baby's head. This is the baby. It's Peppermint Marlowe from the Tuxedo Cat family. She has on a little dress in a bright yellow colour. No fastenings on this, it just stays on with elastic. I like this. It's the same fabric as the rompers, but just something a bit different. And how does she look with the mask? If I can get it on... There, that signed up. It does look kind of silly, but these are toys. This is how it looks from other angles. I'm a little worried it will leave indentations on the side of her head, so I won't keep it on forever. Plus, I need to see her cute little face. She can go next to Perry here, and I have just two bags left. Let's go with this one. Another dullish thudding. Hopefully it will be one of these. Maybe this one is the koala? Oh, incorrect. But I'm excited to see this figure too. So this is the mushroom baby, and how she looks in the packaging. I'm glad I have my scissors right beside me for all this cutting. Okay, so this is Silk Cat Baby, Jilly Golightly. She has on a pink romper, which matches the details in her ears and nose. And the romper has a white collar piece of material. It's sewn in place. It does look a little strange as is, but these silk cats are lovely. And her accessory is a hat shaped like the cat of a mushroom or toadstool. It's red with white spots on top. And underneath is beige with ridges, which are called gills in real mushrooms. It has an epoch stamp right in the middle. And if I turn it, it's actually pretty flat. Interesting. Okay, so let's put this on Jilly, just over her ears. There. Can I angle that at all? Maybe a bit, but her ears stop it moving a lot. 
I want it to be more like back on her head. Okay, so to help I have moment burrows and because she doesn't have ears, I can angle the mushroom cap much better. There, that looks so much cuter than it being placed straight on top. Like, that just looks goofy to me. But for the sake of this video, Jilly can have her hat back. Okay, final bag. If the box theory is true, this should be the ladybird koala. Fingers crossed. The thudding noise sounds promising. And... yes! Here are all my leaflets. And this is the baby, who doesn't come with any clothes on. This one has the most pieces, I think. A pair of wings and an antenna headband. These wings are red with black on. The two larger shapes look like hearts. It's smooth on the back with a clip to go round the baby's neck. Could be a ring. Nice and neat. Then the headpiece is a pale beige, just a headband with two antenna coming off. It's got a little stretch, whereas the wings are a harder plastic. Then we have the poor unclothed baby and her outfit. It's red with black elastic and black lace. It's very rare to get black outfits in Sylvania. I only have a few pieces of clothing like that. That just stretches on. And smooth out the back. Cute! This is Julie Outback the koala. Her wings go on like this. And the headband like this. I assume in front of her is? Yeah, that looks correct. I like the antenna and what they were going for with the wing piece but I do prefer fabric clothes to plastic ones. Still sweet though. Here is another ladybird costume on Charlie Cottontail from the Bugbiddy set. The spots on his costume are just black buttons and the red is a darker shade too. I like both headbands though. And Charlie's outfit has velcro at the back. I guess it's just a preference which style you prefer. There'll be friends in my collection. And I'll pop Julie down with the rest of the series. So that is the Baby Forest series of mystery bags. I'm sorry this took so long to post because this series is so cute. I don't think there's a miss at all in this. They've all got a well thought out costume concept which I really like. Though maybe we could have used some more underutilised families too. I think my favourites are Flora, because of the gorgeous flower accessory and the sweet lilac wrap. And Ambrose for the unique brown outfit. My one gripe is the amount of packaging in these mystery bags. This is all the rubbish I have now. They don't need to have the plastic casing and the bags inside to protect the accessories. But what do you think of this series? Which are your favourites? Let me know in the comments. And that is everything I have for you today. Thank you for watching if you made it to the end of this video. If you like Sylvania and Family's content, then subscribe to my channel, as I post videos every week, including unboxings, news and setups.